Hi everyone, let's begin artificial neural network in using R Studio. I have already explained you what is artificial neural network in my previous video. And here is we are going to take one example of artificial neural network. I have already shown you one of my research paper already. I have discussed determining accuracy rate of artificial intelligence models using Python and R Studio. But here is I'm not going to use Python. I'm going to use only R Studio. Through R Studio, we have to check accuracy rate of artificial neural network model. So stock market model, we want to predict stock market model. So what we have to do, let me, first of all, I would like to show you which file I'm going to use. This is the file where it is dividends. FC, FPS, this is one of the variable, earnings growth, DE, MCAP current ratio. These are my variables. And you can see dividend is 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. That means it is a categorical variable. So here is a, if suppose you are using SPSS, so then you have to use logistic regression. Where is your dependent variable is categorical and independent variables are metric. And same thing that is applicable on my data also. Here is my dividend is my dependent variable and rest of these one, two, three, four, five, all these are independent variables. These are measured at the metric level. So what we have to do in this video, uh, let me finish all these things and uh, I will show you at a scratch how we have to check accuracy of this model. So first of all, this is my .csv file, how you, we have to call this file, open this file in my R Studio. Uh, first of all, please set your directory where this file is saved. And in my case, set working directory and choose directory. And in this directory, because this file is available in this directory and directory name is download. So I want to use this directory. So first of all, let me create my one of the variable. My variable name is new. I had given this variable name new and read.csv function we are going to use. And within the inverted commas in the parenthesis, we are going to use this file name .csv. This is my file name. Let me run this. Right. So you can see here uh, new read.csv this. Uh, one more thing I would like to show you, set working directory. And if you choose this directory, and this is my download, and let me press open. So now you can see set WD. This function is activated, set WD, and this is the path name. Where is my file is put it there. So same way, first of all, before starting this, this, this um, read.csv function, First of all, you have to set your directory where this file is saved, and then you have to run this function. After that, what we have to do, first of all, we are going to attach this file. So now you can see in my new variable, 200 observations in this file, and total number of variables are six variables. But in this video, I'm not going to use all the variables simply because I want to show you how artificial neural network is working with one hidden layer, right? So, and I have taken only three variables over here as independent variable, three to four. Four variables are independent variable and one is dependent variable. And dividend is my dependent variable that is zero one because zero means when people are not getting any dividend right by this stock uh, by this particular uh, particular particular stock and one means they are getting dividend they are getting returns uh, so i just want to check prediction of this model so first of all what we have to do we are going to apply this function as apply new comma class that means it will show you what kind of class we are using uh, among all these variables so dividend is my integer you can see moment i had applied this as apply new comma class dividend is integer mcap 
uh, under FC, FC FPS, this is my numeric earnings underscore growth. That is again numeric. D is numeric and MCAP integer and current ratio is numeric. Now we can also check what kind of data it's heading. So let me use this function head and I'm going to put my file name. This is my file and uh, let me run this. So now you can see first topmost six six rows it will reflect over here so now you can see in my file dividend is at the this is the categorical but here is the number i had assigned zero one one zero and fcps that is a numeric metric that is also metric and d is also metric and m cap is also metric variable and current ratio that is also that is also metric so first of all first of all what i have to do let let me normalize my all these variables because number is you can see here is 545 630 and all so all these values we will convert into 0 to 1 so normalization how we have to do minimum and through minimum and maximum it will be converted into 0 to 1 values so what i have to do let me use this function uh what i have to do i'm just showing you one variable how we have to convert let me use this this is my file name let me use dollar sign and this is m cap and i will press equal sign and then i will open parenthesis and now i will use new underscore again i will take this new from new file that is dollar sign and i will use m cap and i will write minus sign and then i will use minimum function and after that i am going to open this parenthesis and now is new and then i will write dollar sign and uh, after that again m cap right and uh, after that what i will do uh, this one is the divided by and again i will open parenthesis and now i will write max that means maximum function i'm going to use and after this i will write again new then dollar sign and then again i will choose m cap and after this i will write minus right and then i will use maximum minus minimum then i will use minimum function then again new then i will write dollar sign and simply i am going to use m cap and simply i will run this function so that means all these variables all these values would be normalized right same thing i'm going to apply on fc fps variable and simply i am going to run this and uh, third is earning underscore growth third variable is earning underscore underscore growth again i would normalize this function also so this particular variable also so simply i would run and now i what i have to do last one variable is de again i have to run this now what i have to do after this normalization of my data i will use partitioning of the data because one is testing training and testing we will divide a complete data into two part so i'm going to use this function here is i'm going to use this set dot seat set dot seat and simply i'm going to use okay fine i'm going to use triple two and i would press enter then after that here is i'm going to create one variable i and d and here is i'm going to use one function that is that is sample right sample function because i want to divide whole my sample into two part right two parts so simply i will press two and then comma and then i would press and row right and row i had already used the same function in my previous videos also and simply where is this file new right new file i want to divide into two parts and uh, because one how we have to predict and then i'm going to use replace function and through this replace function that would be true and uh, i'm just 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 opting this true then probability it depends upon you because in my case i have used probability i have divided this this function as 70 and 30 percent you can use 50 50 percent also right and you can use 60 40 also but i had used in my case 0 0.3 right so 70 and 
30 percent so let me press enter and after that what we have to do we will divide this data into two parts first of all training right i will use this training function i mean i'm i'm going to create this this training variable and simply i had written t r a i n i n g training training equal to i will write this file name that is new i will use square bracket and after that i will write where i had put it i just stored this ind you can see here ind D. This is the my new variable has been created. So simply I will write ind and double equal sign. Then after that, press one, right? Means one set of data. That means all the rows or all the all the columns are required. Right. So simply I will press enter. And same thing, I'm going to create one more variable that is testing. Right. Testing equal to again the same command I'm going to use new. And after that, I'm going to use square brackets. And in square brackets, again, ind this file. And again, uh, I will use uh, uh, equal to equal to two times this sign. And the second sample, second sample uh, size I'm going to store here. And I need comma, that means blank. That means I require all the columns and simply what i have to do i will press enter so you can see here testing and training two in my training variable there is the how many observations because i have taken total 200 observations and here is 135 observations and six variables and here is you can see 65 observations and here is six variables so now what i have to do let me i will after this i'm going to apply neural network on this data so for this purpose, simply I will use, I will call a library, I will call a library and library is neural net, new N-E-U, here is you can see neural net, psyche package and is neural net and simply I would press enter. Then after that, again, I'm going to create that is set.seat function because suppose you want to know what is this set.seat function. Simply when you have to write set.seat and you can see complete description is here, right? Seed and what kind of uh, arguments they are using kind equal to null normal dot kind equal to null sample dot kind equal to null and everything this is the complete description is provided here so now what i have to do let me create i mean there is one more seed dot uh, set dot seed function and here is simply what i have to do a n n a n n stands for artificial neural network let me create this variable and under this variable what i have to do n e neural network function n e u r neural net right you can see neural net and after that dividend is my dependent variable dividend is my dependent variable and simply tilt sign i will write and uh, i am going to use fc fps right this is one of the variable then i'm going to use plus sign then m cap m c a p this is my another variable again i would because these all are my dependent variable here is this is a i said it is a similar to logistic uh, regression so m cap then again i am going to use earning and this is my another variable right then after that because i am going to take only three variables rather than all independent variables because i just want to that is for this purpose how you have to learn uh, artificial neural network so comma then i am going to use data yes data is that means data is equal to which data it will use training data not all data only training data because first of all i want to check this and uh, how many hidden layers i want it depends on you how many nodes you want. So in my case, because I want to show you, first of all, a simplest model. So simply hidden equal to you would write one. And after that, you have to press comma. And then after that, you have to use error. This is error dot F C T right and and then i'm going to use here is there are ce right and after that what we have to use simply linear output is equal to 
false i'm going to use here let me press comma then after that i'm going to write linear linear and uh, dot output linear dot output i don't know why it is creating this problem then i'm going to write false function false uh false after that simply i would press enter why it is so showing error because it is i had pressed equal to in also that is why it is creating problem because it is very uh, case sensitive if suppose you have used upper case or you have used lower case so it will not run so simply i am running this particular code now it's run right because that is colorful if error so that would be blue one so what i have to do simply i would write here is plot sorry i'm going to write here simply plot and a plot function and i'm going to use a and n and now you can see here i would press enter so you can see here this is my this this one is the all are my three independent variables earning underscore growth mcap fc fps these are the one two three three nodes these are the weights 3.07 4.51.27 and minus 319 and this is the you can see this is the inputs and dividend is my output because output is my dependent variable and this is the single node right all these how many nodes 1 2 3 4 5 nodes this node is hidden layer this one is the node number 4 is a hidden layer right so on because i had already mentioned there is one if i would write two so there would be two hidden layers so here is for the simplicity purpose and you can simply copy this copy this particular uh, model and you can see error also 21.155 and steps how many steps 6350 it will do analysis until or unless it will get the accuracy accurate model right so now what we have to do let me check how it this model will be predicted right so simply what i will do let me create this result equal to compute this function i am going to use ann then training set training data set comma minus 1 comma minus 1 that means except first column because you have seen in my data set first column is dividend and that is my dependent variable so i don't want that column should be included that is why i had used comma means all rows i mean before comma means all rows you want minus 1 means only uh, except first column you want rest of the columns so what i have to do i will run this right and simply after that i want to see the results so you can see all these all these values predicted values are here right you can see dollar neurons right and uh, first one is you can see here is neurons one right all these predicted values are here so what i have to do after this you can see again i will uh, dollar net dot result right this is also the predicted values what i will do suppose i want to see first six rows only so simply i will use this head function so you can see in this not net dot result first six rows are visible over the 0.99 right 0.97 means 0.99 this this one is the particular stock value these are the 0.99% accurate 97% but this is not accurate because that is 0.01 only and that is 0.40 only so now what i have to do let me i will what i will do you can see here right you want to see actual training set we want to compare both these things so this is my actual data right dividend when it was one fcpl so that means more or less these are same 0.99 right 
and uh, that is more or less is same so now what we have to do let me create confusion matrix also through this we want to compare both these things so simply what i will do result one i had created that is the one of the variable and let me run this so you can see here result one variable is created here list of two only and what i did in this compute ann file training and all the rows and minus one column so r1 is simply what i will do simply i will r1 equal to i will store all these values in r1 variable and now prediction it, it will do prediction so i will i'm going to use logical argument here is if else and r1 is greater than 0 0.05 right then one and zero division values will come out so simply i will run this then it would convert into table so i had used this the one variable t equal to table prediction training uh, dollar sign dividend so simply i would write run and now after that i want to see what values are stored in t so now you can see these are actual one zero one these are the prediction one right and uh, those are the zero that means these are the stock dot not giving any dividend these these are the 50 number one means zero not getting but prediction value prediction models think something else those are getting dividend these are the 19 not getting uh, i mean dividend these are 19 and there's the 66 uh, number of these stocks these are giving dividends so after that what i want to do i want to check whether this is the what is the accuracy rate so in my this case 85 percent this model is giving accuracy and after that suppose what is not giving you accuracy so simply one minus so simply we can see 85 means 86 we have to minus from 100 so 0 0.014 percent is not accurate so same thing we are going to apply the same kind of analysis on the result to on the testing data because already training data we had analyzed whether these the both the results are consistent we want to check so simply we have to press run and uh, here is in this result two after that i'm going to use similar command simply i have changed x rather than training data i'm using testing data and after that again i would run this prediction also and simply i would press run and now again this t1 i will store all these values in t1 and simply i would like to run this t1 you can see predicted value zero is 20 and those are getting one these are the nine right so simply i have to check whether these this this data is accurate yes of course is 0.84 and in my previous case also you can see when i've used training data so that was the predicted value 0.85 so i'm i, I can say in both the cases predicted and uh, my testing i mean sorry testing and training data set there is the consistency so 0 0.15 so i'm sure this video would be helpful to you and uh, i'm sure in the next video i'm going to show you how we have to use more hidden layers and how we have to interpret all these results thank you keep watching